Hello and welcome back to Cozy Gaming. We are here for episode number 13 of our FM20 1860 Munich save. As you can see, we are still sitting pretty at the top of the table in first position um, with the game in hand currently, but we are six points ahead of second Ingolstadt. We have lost two games. We did lose a convincing 3-0 to Unterhaching, which means they are in fourth position. So it was a bit annoying, but we'd already lost one of our games beforehand. So since you last met us, a lot of friendlies and a lot of uh, league games as well. We had 1-0 to Duisburg, 1-0 to Jena, 3-0 to Unterhatching, 2-0 to Bunchbatch, 2-0 to Grossesbach, and then we drew uh, to Werder Bremen 2-0-0, which I believe means we have... We drew nil-nil with them both times, which is interesting. Then we played some friendlies, Hoffenheim 2, Mines, PSG 2, and Dynamo Zagreb. Zagreb? Zagreb. 1-2, uh, two, Drew 2, haven't lost a game in the friendlies, which is good. And now we're playing Erdogan and Braunschweig at the start of the end of the January transfer window. And let's have a look at the transfers. Oh, where the hell am I going? Here they are. Right, if we look at... Um, the date order what you'll notice is we have sold uh, Muhammad who didn't really get into our team last season and, and, and we've just got a bit further on from him now so we sold him to the team we're facing second in this episode for 12.75 thousand pounds but then we also sold Helmut Heimer for, to Union Berlin for 1.7 million up front maybe 2.3 in total it's a bit annoying because he is four star now um but we have got a, a suitable replacement in our team um in the name of brock but it was just a lot of money to refuse and it means i can get more people in for next season i guess um did we have we got rid of anyone um this guy for a free apparently oh we got in sorry we did we sign him on a free? We did. So this is the only person we've got in um, to our team at this moment in time. So three star, current ability, three star potential, maybe four star. He's just a player that we can potentially sell on next season if we don't need him anymore. But let's have a look at um, future transfers. Yes. So um, Felix Balco, a keeper of ours, we went on a free. He refused to um, sign a new contract, which was a bit annoying. Um, he went to Holstein Kiel. And then we have confirmed the permanent deal of Etienne on a free. Um, we've got over Mandanda from Bordeaux. He's a goalkeeper. Three-star current, five-star possible potential. Um, we've got Joseph Maziz from Metz. He is an attacking playmaker, but can play um, mid in the centre of midfield and can also play up front. Quite nice, well-rounded stats. He is currently three and a half star, potential to be four and a half star, 22-year-old Moroccan, I believe, with a, a little bit of French heritage. Um, we've then got Gatan Perrin from Orleans. This one's quite nice. He's a winger, 24-year-old. It's a bit more developed than everyone we have. He is four star definitely, maybe four and a half star. Again, same potential would be four star or four and a half star. Does need to learn the language, but he is in. We've got then got Cheek Cheek Timit Timit, or as Timite as I will be forever calling him. Um, so he is a new twenty three year old. Ivorian striker pressing forward. So it's the one we're using currently, but he can do advanced forward and he can do target man as well. Which is, he can do advanced forward and target man. Can't do complete forward. Mental. But nice, well rounded stats, nice physicals, and it's all good. He's three and a half star current ability, potentially four, maybe five star potential ability, which is good. And final uh, transfer we've confirmed at the moment is Kasim Madoma. 23-year-old Cameroonian, I'm guessing French as well. He is. Um, who is a um, right-back. Um, he can play wing-back. 
and we will be playing him as, as a wing back. He does need to train there a little bit more. Um, he is currently um, three star, maybe three and a half, and potential to be three and a half star, maybe five. If he doesn't feel comfortable in playing in big matches, but we won't have a single right back at the club at the end of the season because Schultz, I'm not planning on extending his contract. I don't even think I can extend his contract. As, yeah, you can see we've got some injury problems there. Um, we we might be able to, but I, I don't have any plans on doing that. Um, but this is a good time to show you who I mean. He, oh, that's annoying. Let's get the second team involved because we need to get um, him in. <laughs> I just sent this guy into the, the second team. I'm not going to be playing him any more than he. Oh, God, this isn't going to be good. I need to get the second team involved again. Do we play Yanko one final time? No. No, no, no. We get Grass now in. He would be... I think he's making his debut now. Um, No. Yes. Yes, he will be making our de his debut for us in this game, which is interesting. Um, But I am going to show you... The, the person who, who is going to replace um, Johan on this side is Brock. He's currently three and a half star, potential to be three and a half star, maybe four and a half star, winger, nice 17 year old guy. Needs to be work on, work to be more consistent, but he's already better than Johan and Gorilaga on this side. And then we've also got uh, Loretta on the other side to replace uh, Gorilaga, who's three and a half star current, four star, maybe five star potential. And yeah, he's already better than Gorilaga on that side and can play in. A couple positions not very well as you can see but he can play in a couple positions which is great um, but for the time being he's going to be on the bench um, let's make the, the the rest of the subs here Don't rock. there we go Drizzle has picked up an in injury but I think it was just oh, oh, oh I was um, it's a it's a niggling injury, so it, like he had to have injections in it, is what happened. But let's get into this first game of the episode. We've got Joel in goal, Etienne, Batiste, Grassel, and Schultz in the back line. Erdman, Efkan, and Rocco in the midfield with Greeniger, Quiring, and Steiniger up front. And hopefully we can do some uh, do some damage here. Get a nice win to start off the second half of the season and uh, kick off this promotion, which I've sort of... I'm just sort of accepting that it's going to happen. All right, we need to pick up the, the form here. Um, because I'm sort of... I've made transfers, future transfers, because I think we're going to need them for the next season in, in, the, in Bundesliga 2. Because there's, I can get a lot of people that are three star uh, current ability, um, but they don't improve our team now, and they certainly won't improve our team if we get promoted. So I've only sort of gone for people who are three and a half star or above current ability for freeze at least. Because um, if we do get into uh, Bundesliga two, it does sort of set us up for um, quite a while money wise because of the prize money you get from just getting relegated you get seven million for just being relegated from the bundesliga which would uh, help us quite a lot in getting some players but they are through with rodriguez but joel makes a good save low to his right hand side now rocker has the ball in the middle and we are playing it quite round, well round our midfield three etienne's now on the overlap crosses the ball in currying was there but Steiniger picks it up and it's just oh, it was really good picks it up and it's just wide Quiring is looking nervous, which isn't good, but Etienne has a throw in on the far side, passes it back to Batiste, who's running forward with it now. He goes long to Steiniger. I didn't even realise Steiniger was in the middle there. What can he do now? Back to Grieliger, who's gone past one person, has a shot, makes a nice save off the keeper. The keeper's sharpness I've seen so far has looked a little bit off of just the, the things that come up, and their entire team is a little bit 
lacking in sharpness, but Schultz makes a good s s tackle there. Potential for a counter attack was on. We shut it down straight away. Right, we need to get creative, and um, I am going to go a bit more positive for the final 10 minutes of this half. We need to get a goal as Grudiger and Etienne are playing it well on that side. He finds Etienne again. What can we do here? Grudiger picks it up and somehow it hits the post, deflects into the six-yard box and we don't get it in the back of the net. Quirin having a piss-poor game. That's exactly why I shoved him into the, the second team. No, nope. I'm aggressively saying it. I'm far from pleased. Not happy with your performance. There you go. Fired them up. Come on, go out there, make a difference. We're on positive again. I'm going to keep it there for the time being. Potentially going to go a bit more width on the uh, the old attacking mentality. As we are doing quite nice balls. Oh, that could have been a red card. That would have been nice if it was. Might have to up the tempo a little bit, but we have a thread on the far side, on this side. See what happens. F can into Rocker. Can we get a long shot off there? No, uh, back to Erdman. Can Erdman find the overlap there? No, Rocker can with Greedy Guest. So what's going on? Etienne Starniger is on the wing. I don't understand what he's doing there. But he has a shot and it's straight at the keeper. And it doesn't look like we're going to actually make any headway. Right. We're going to get Greedy on the other side. We're going to get Ben Ali on. Querying yet another performance that was absolutely awful. Steiniger is... He's not doing very well here. As they have a deep free kick here. Can we deal with it? Schultz manages to clear it away very acrobatically, but they pick it up on the edge of the box. And they have a shot, and it's just over the bar. Right, 70th minute. It's gone out of play. All right, Dressel is needed. Meisner is needed. Made our final two substitutions of the game. Hopefully these guys can actually do something. But they have a corner now on this near side. They are putting us into quite a lot of pressure here. We do manage to clear it just about. But they pick it up and Joel somehow manages to get it off the opposition. And we're just not doing anything. We just need a goal here, as they've got another free kick. It's actually going... It's it's not going very well here. They're putting us under a lot of pressure in this end of this half, but it doesn't look like it's going to come to anything. It's going to only be a nil-nil game, unless something happens here. We've got four minutes of normal time to go. We've whipped the ball into the back post. Grilliger does pick it up. F can then has a shot in the middle of the area as Grilliger whips it in. But nothing coming, and they clear it. And it does look like... It's going to be nil nil. We're in a nice second minute now. And time's flying by. And there we go. That was an absolute appalling first game of the second half of the season. Hopefully, the next game against third will actually be better because we are in danger of getting caught by the pack again. And that cannot happen. But I will join you in that next game. We are back for the Braunschweig game, and we have a little bit of an injury crisis at centre back. Both of our main strike, our main centre backs, are either injured, expected out for another day, or suspended for the next match. Which means Lang and Grasso come in as our centre back partnership, which does make our defence a little bit weaker than it should be. <clears throat> um, since you were last with us, actually, there is one thing. I need to show you. It is future transfers. Boris Mortenis is coming in. We have actually paid a little bit of money for him. He's a well, he will be a ball playing defender. Um, he's currently three and a half star. Potentially three and a half star, maybe four and a half star. Uh, we did pay five fifty three thousand pounds for him because he wasn't willing to talk to us about his contract at the end of it. So we just bought him because they wanted fifty three thousand for him. So I thought that was good enough. Um, Brock is actually going to get a um, a number here, but as you can see, our our basically from the de defensive midfielder upwards, very very good team. 
um, he will get a number. He can be number 10. I have faith in him that he's going to be good as a number 10. I will, for next season, change up all the numbers so that they actually have a, the, the right numbers for their fucking role. Because starting to get a 7 annoys me. Dresler's 30 is the most annoying thing. Joel does have one, Etienne does have three, and Joel does have two, so fair enough, those are all right. But it just annoys me that most of our team isn't. Here we go, they've won four of the last five. If we deny them here, if we play our best, we'll deny them here. I'm actually going to go a bit more cautious to start with. As we kick off from left to right in our home white kit. And they're in their, I'm guessing, home um, yellow and blue kit. Let's see what we can do here. 4-4-2. Four, four, flat 4-4-2 four, four, is looking a bit weird. Okay. Etienne with a damaged heal. Fabian, you're in. Which is great. We do need to strengthen our, our fullbacks um, in the summer. If we have any money there that we can actually do some deals. Because... Etienne is the only fullback that will be at, this, at, at the, the uh, team at the start of next season. So we need to do something there as Brock picks up the ball. Drezel now playing it quite well. Back to Brock. Back to Drezel. Back to Brock. He's now through. Has a shot. The keeper, Lom, just saves it. It was very unconvincing there as we've got a corner on this near side as it is Loretta to take. Oh, that was a very good save there. We got a near post flick on. I think it was... Uh, who is that there? It was Grasso, apparently, got the near post flick on. He's gone for it again, and they do manage to clear it, and there is a potential counter-attack going on now. People are flooding forward, but we are racing back to meet them, and nothing comes of it. Brock and Nerdman looking a bit nervous and anxious, respectively. Now Loretta is. They are Brock and Loretta are 17-year-olds, so... You would expect them to maybe get a bit nervous in this game. It is quite a big game to bring them in at. But this is the sort of games they need to be playing now. They are the two best wingers at the club currently. As we play it back all the way to the keeper's Joel. And we build again. Lang picks it up. Into Efkan. Into Drizzle. What can we do here? We go to Steiniger. Efkan's making a run on the far side. Can we find him? Note back to Erdman. Who gives the ball away cheaply there and they're in behind now great save by joel and unfortunately they do we do can see the corner kick here but we just need to be a bit better here 30 minutes gone i've just praised them what am i doing please don't score now thank you i didn't mean to praise them they're going to get like annoyed with that aren't they uh, it's not like it's motivated everyone's not <laughs> And it's going to go half time nil nil. We can't go get. I can't go a whole episode without scoring a goal here. There's a lot more to come from you. We are having a pretty poor game with our front three, but maybe it's because we're not creating any chances or not creating enough, not doing enough passes in creative passes in the midfield or with our um, fullbacks as they we do rely on them quite a lot to get a bit full get a bit far forward and create things as they have a shot from a corner goes over the top of the bar I think we need to be a little bit less cautious here a draw here would be good because they're in and around us but defend wider let's go wider as well then as it is looking like Loretta is having an absolute shocker of a grain so Greeliger comes in Straight swap on that side there. As they've got a throw in at far side. And it's looking like we are under a lot of pressure here. Can we get a tackle in? They go very skillfully back pass there. We are pressing quite well. But no one is making a tackle now. We're just sort of shuttling them forward. Or backwards. As they are playing quite nice football around here. But if we can win it here. As Matip's brother I'm guessing. <laughs> is in the defence for them. There is gonna, it, something is gonna happen here, and I'm a bit confused of what is gonna happen. I think we can't have a long ball over the top and beat us. It is, it's gonna be, it's a shot, wild, goes way past the post. As we now have a throw in from Schultz on the far side, starting to get into Brock. 
Brock now making a run on the wing. What? Ugh. The wing back into Dresel. Can Dresel have a long shot? He hasn't scored a lot of them. Starniger does have a shot. It doesn't come to anything, and the keeper clears it. And they've made their first change of the game. And the second, and it doesn't look like we are doing anything here. Alright, we'll put Grilliger on that side. We'll get Rocker onto the wing. He can play there not very well. But he can be an inverted winger that side. That's fine by me. And they have a throw in on the far side. This isn't going well. They whip the ball in. Lang clears it to the edge of the box. They played it through. It's completely there, but Joel does pick it out of the air. It is a free kick. He's offside anyway. And it, we've got a three, free kick on the far side now. Can we do anything with this? Lang has a shot, and it's a very acrobatic save by the keeper. And it's now 93rd minute out of the three. We have a corner with Rocker on the far side. If we could score here, this would be great. He's playing for a draw. Just cross the ball in. Fkan has a shot in the end, and it's all over. Two nil nils. What a way to start the second half of the season. Lang was player of the match, though. It was a great shot right at the end. I'm, I'm just not happy with that performance. Because if, that we're, like we're getting catched. We're getting caught. We are now seven points clear. But if we're not careful, we are going to get caught by the pack and potentially not get promoted this season, which I need us to do. It needs to be this season. So let's have a look where you will see us next. We'll play... Um, Cottbus, Ontenabrook and Kaiser Slaughter and you'll come back for Wurzburg and Ingolstadt which will be the top of the table clash hopefully we'll still be top of the table clash there um, but yeah you'll meet us for those two games if you have enjoyed this episode make sure you click that like button comment and subscribe if you do end up subscribing make sure you click that notification bell so you get up to date with everything on the channel but until next time goodbye <laughs>